We're going to learn how to make a kaleidoscope with Geometry Sketch Pad. And I'm using Geometry Sketch Pad version 5, but I'll make sure to use steps that can be done on Geometry Sketch Pad version 4 as well. To begin, we're going to create an angle with two segments. And inside that segment, I'm going to put in a polygon. I'm just going to put in a quadrilateral. And to create our quadrilateral, I'm going to select these points in clockwise order. Go to Construct, Quadrilateral Interior. And now I'm going to reflect this polygon over this segment. So I double click that segment. Now it's a mirror. Select the polygon, not the points, just the interior. Go to Transform, Reflect. Okay, so here's my reflection. Notice it's the same color. So to distinguish it, I'm going to go to Display, Color, and I'll change that to Yellow. Now I'd like to reflect this polygon here over this segment. So I double click that segment. Now that's my mirror. Select this polygon, Transform, Reflect, and I'll change that color to blue. Okay, so what's happened? Well, both of these polygons are reflections of the original, and if I change the shape of the original, they also change shape. Okay, this one is reflected over this segment, and both of these are reflected over this segment. Now, I'm going to create more reflections but I'm going to combine all those steps into a custom tool. So in the order that I clicked and created them, I'm going to click them again. Original polygon, original mirror, first reflection, second mirror, second reflection. You've got to click them in that order. Now I go down here, create new tool. I'm going to call it Reflect. And yeah, I want to replace my old one. Okay. So, with that custom tool selected, if I hold it down, you can see that it is checked. With that custom tool selected, I'm going to click on the last polygon that was created, the first reflection mirror, the second reflection mirror. Then I'm going to click on the latest polygon that's created first reflection, second reflection, and I keep doing that process. Click on the last polygon that was created, first reflection, second reflection. I'll do it one more time. Last polygon that was created, first reflection, second reflection. Now you can keep doing that till you pretty much fill in the whole circle, but I'm going to stop right there in the interest of time. Now watch what happens as I rotate this segment, you can see all those reflections start to rotate around. So hopefully you're getting a sense of how this kaleidoscope is going to work. Okay? Now we can do one more thing. I'm going to select all of my polygons. Oh, before I do that, hold on. I'm going to double click the vertex of my angle to make it a center of dilation. Now I'm going to select all the polygons, including the original. and I'm going to go to transform this time I'm going to choose dilate and I'll make them all half as big as the originals and I hit dilate and now I have these little polygons that have been shrunk to half the size of the original and they'll move along right along with the original ones okay okay now comes the fun part I'm going to link the vertices of this original polygon here to different objects and animate them. Now, and while we're at it, why don't we hide the labels of this stuff? So I'm going to go uh, Control A to select everything, Display Show Labels, and then Display Hide Labels. There, that unclutters everything. All right, I'm going to create a couple of circles. There's one, 
there's two and I'm going to merge this vertex, vertex to this circle so I select the vertex, I select the circle I go to edit, merge point to circle I'm going to merge this point to that circle so I select that point in that circle, go to edit merge point to circle I think I'll merge this point to this segment right here so I select that point edit merge point to segment so it's going to move up and down the segment this one's going to move around the circle this one's going to move around this circle and I will select that remaining vertex and this segment and I'll merge those two so we have our all the vertices of our original polygon merged to different objects and you can put random segments out here and merge them to those if you want now I'm going to create a circle that this segment here <clears throat> will spin around so I'm going to create a circle right there and I'm going to merge this point to that circle and I'll merge this point to that circle okay I think I'll make this one go clockwise and this one go counterclockwise alright so I'm gonna select all the points that I want to be animated that means it's going to be let's see it's going to be that vertex that vertex that vertex and that vertex and that point the end point of that segment and the end point of the other segment I'm going to go to edit action buttons animation uh, I think I'll make the speed be slow for all of these and I want this point to go clockwise at slow speed and the last point to go counterclockwise at slow speed. You can come back to this dialog box and, and adjust uh, the speeds and directions anytime you want by right clicking on this and choosing properties. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what our kaleidoscope is going to look like. Alright, pretty good. Now, just so we see the polygons and not these segments and circles, I'm going to stop my animation. I'm going to hit my point tool. I'm going to hit control A to select them all. Control H to hide them. I'm going to go to my circle tool. Control A to select. Control H to hide. And finally my segment tool. Control A to select all. Control H to hide. And finally I can go to display or wait edit preferences color background I can make the background black hit OK OK animate points and there's your kaleidoscope I hope you have a good time creating your own